Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a review for you. It is the Yita Home Shoe Box Organizer. I believe that's what we're calling it or Stackable Shoe Box. So what this is, it is a tail. This is shoe boxes to hold your shoes or honestly anything you want to store in them. I'm going to show you what it looks like put together and then we're going to put some together. So the box comes unassembled. You have the air ventilation back here. These are your opaque plastic sides and the front which has a door that's clear and it opens and it snaps shut. You hear the clicking? So you can stack these up. You can put one pick one pair of shoes in here, although I feel like I could probably in some of these get more than one shoe in, you know, one pair of shoes in each box, depending on the size, but definitely one pair of shoes and they stack up and it comes with the one I ordered has 18 different boxes and then they will stack in whatever configuration you want them to stack in. So in the box, you'll get the directions on how to build your boxes, but I'm gonna go over that with you. And then you're gonna get the pieces and each, each box snaps together with three separate pieces to create one shoe box. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm gonna show you how I put these together and then we're gonna move my shoes and I'm gonna configure these where they're gonna go in my bedroom and put all my shoes away and show you what these are gonna look like. Again, I will tell you though, you could use these for yarn storage, keeps the dust off. You could use these for craft storage. You could use these for your children's toys, toiletries, beauty products. You could get a pack of eight for 18 and separate them in different rooms. So maybe you'll put some in your children's room because these will definitely hold a bunch of kids' shoes. You could put them in your front hall closet. I mean, it's endless really what you can use these for. But for today, we're putting it in my bedroom with my shoes. So let me flip the camera angle and show you how I build these. Okay, here we go. So we have a top and a bottom. What you want to look for is this bump. They need to match top and bottom and I'll show you how I do that or you're going to have your doors opening on different sides and they're not going to snap together so you want to make sure you have the two pieces one top one bottom and this it's very heavy plastic so what I did is opened it up and then there's a little tab on the end and you want to bend the tab all the way down because that's what's going to click these into place do the tab over here the tab over here and over here. Then what I found works easy is I turn one down, the bottom or the back, and they just slide in. There's grooves, it just takes a second. The bottom definitely takes a little longer than the top. And then they're gonna listen for a snap. I got my hands in here, you lining up. And did you hear that? I'll stop talking for a second. Did you hear that snap? I just got my bottom on. Now it's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna bring this top piece over. I know that I want this piece, the bumps here to match the bumps here. So I turn it around. And then the top one, because the, you know, the bottom piece is holding it, it does a much better job. Just takes a second to line up. Pieces. Oh. I'm just snapping them in. And there we go. Listen. Listen for the snap. Now it's together. I will tell you the only one drawback I have so far for this is that it gets staticky, and in my house that means it's gonna pick up cat hair. But so be it. And now your lid is on. We'll get that piece of lint out. Yeah, and that one, and it just stacks up. So I'm gonna speed up this process and we're gonna build all of these pieces that need to be taken care of. 
so we can have all of our boxes built, right? Right, let's go. friends this is what it looks like all neat and organized I have the larger shoes like my boots or my bootlets at the bottom winters down there and then coming up I have sandals and little tennis shoes some of them have three pair of shoes in them so they can definitely hold a lot um, up here would possibly be my favorite <laughs> That's all flip-flops, just foamy ones. I have more shoes downstairs, but for now, in here, I just have my insoles. I have some pom-poms, and I have sun uh, goggles. And then over here are, like, my more dressy sandals. And then even on top, I have a basket full of scarves. But this just organized the space, and here's the best part. It's going to keep all the dust off. This is the 18 set. And like I said, you can do them in any configuration you want. All right, guys. Here we are in front of my shoe holder. And I love it. Um, I will leave a link below and I believe I'll have a discount code if you would like to order one for yourself. They do have, um, I think this is the biggest set, but they do have smaller sets. Prices will vary uh, with the coupon code, but I hope that you love this as much as I do. All right, guys, you have a good one. Bye.